Hey, this is Mike. I'm uh, at it today messing around with uh, Talking Skull. And uh, it's based off of an Arduino. And uh, the difference with this one is that uh, I'm using this little, um, it's an audio peak meter. And what I'm doing with this one is I'm actually picking signals off of the, uh, the middle three LEDs here. And uh, I'm I'm turning that into uh, just a small voltage that I send over to the analog input pins on the Arduino here, and uh, I send them to A0, A1, and A2. But what I'm able to do with that is I translate that into a proportional jaw movement. So if I have just a a, a low, let me see if I can do this. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm. See how that's just small? Mm. Or if I go real loud, I can go, ah! So it ends up giving you about 3-bit resolution to your movement. And so so it's working pretty good. This is my little prototype. I just, uh, these things showed up in the mail yesterday. They're uh, 99 cents. And uh, I think it's a good way to interface between audio and uh, the Arduino for the purposes of moving your jaw. I'll show you what I'm doing to do what I'm doing here. I had a little headset on, so I'm gonna turn that off. Let's see, or unplug it rather. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Had it hooked up to my laptop, this uh, little headset. I just had that plugged into the laptop, and then uh, I had the uh, the eighth inch audio jack that I've got running over to the input on the, uh, the LED peak meter there. I had that hooked up to my secondary um, line level jack. And this one, the th another cool thing about this thing is you can feed it either line level audio or you can feed it speaker level audio. And um, so that, you know, that kind of opens up your options for what you want to feed it as far as your audio signal goes. But, um, you know, I'm just going to try to put a little bit of documentation about the sketch that I did. I'll, uh, I'll put some documentation together. I'll put my sample test sketch, you know, into a zip folder, uh, take a few pictures and document it. And, uh, you know, throw it out there and see if anybody wants to give it a try. But, you know, just as cheap as this is, it seems like it's kind of a neat, uh, cheap way to translate audio to a, a jaw movement. Here's a quick look at the bottom side of the, uh, the little LED board here. Hopefully the thing will focus for me here. But you can see I soldered, uh, let me get my little pointer stick here. You can see I soldered on the, uh, from this view it's the right hand side of the uh, LEDs as they poke through the board here you know this is the one that uh, is on technically this is uh, LED D2 and this wire is going to go to A0 on the Arduino uh, this one is uh, D3 and it's going to go to A1 on the Arduino and this one down here is D4. This one down here, I, I tried hooking up to the red LED also, but I ended up not even using that one, so just don't even worry about that. You just mainly want to concentrate on the, the three uh, middle LEDs here. But that, uh, hopefully you can tell from that view uh, where I soldered the connections onto mine. And, you know, you can see from that angle. I'm going to show you um, one of the other little features that I've got built into the sketch on this Arduino. I call it Jawduino project. And um, what it is, is on pin 11, um, I attach a pull-up resistor, you know, in code. Uh, so it just sits there and uh, every time in the main loop, it's looking for ground. And if it senses a ground what it's going to do is it's going to kick off um, the servo sweep test and what that's going to do is it's going to take the 
the jaw servo from zero to to its full extent and then back again in a sweeping motion so that you can adjust your minimum and maximum uh, numbers because um, that's one of the important things that you have to do before you actually hook up a servo is you want to set in the code you know do you want your um, do you want it to go min to max or max to min you know basically you can reverse it just by reversing the numbers so I'll, uh, I'll show a little example this is something you'd normally do before you've even got the uh, um, servo physically mounted and the jaw physically hooked up but you know I'm just gonna ground this uh, pin 11 to the case of the USB here and you can see it's gonna it's gonna make the this jaw servo go through its uh, full range of motion so I'll do that again here so you can see on mine I've got it set so that uh, I don't make it so that it uh, snaps the teeth completely together um, and I just do that so that uh, you know it doesn't make a clicking noise when it closes the mouth all the way and then on the same thing when I go all the way open I prefer not to have it like I mean technically if you had the uh, length of travel I mean you could make this thing go all the way down but you know a lot of times I think people they put a little bit too much on it and it winds up making your head look like a Pez dispenser when it's trying to talk or like a Canadian on South Park so so I think uh, I don't know I like this range of motion as I've got it set here so but um, if you want to set those numbers in the uh, and it's probably hard to see on my PC here but the uh, you can see I've got this 92 and 72 those are you have to fiddle with those numbers in order to um, set your range of motion on your servo and so I'll, I'll put a little bit more in the documentation about how that works but I know that mister man they also call them cereals I'm not stupid you know anyway my favorite was rocket man and once it was a no breaks chapter the bad guy stuck him in a car on a mountain road and knocked him out and welded the door shut and tore out the brakes and started him to his death. And he woke up and tried to steer and tried to get out, but the car went off a cliff before he could escape. And it crashed and burned, and I was so upset and excited. And the next week, you better believe I was first in line. And they always start with the end of the last week. And there was Rocket Man trying to get out. And here comes the cliff. And just before the car went off the cliff, he jumped free. And all the kids cheered. But I didn't cheer. I stood right up and started shouting, This isn't what happened last week! Have you all got amnesia? They just cheated us! This isn't fair! He didn't get out of the cock the duty car!